Oh, that's a thumb. <laughs> Dude, no, that's not what you're talking about, right? Okay. Welcome, Brad Mondo, to the channel. We're gonna be reviewing my hairstyles. Yes. And not like the normal adult doctor thing that I have going on now. What I used to do before I was a professional. Mm. But then he's gonna give me some guidance on what I should be doing now or what I'm doing wrong. We're actually gonna go into my bathroom and explore my products that I'm using. And we may or may not discuss potential color stuff, but I'm leaving that for later. I don't wanna discuss that yet. Don't get me excited. I wanna color your hair so bad. He's gonna be so oh, nice because I'm like a little. Wait, this doesn't even look like you. No, I didn't take random children's pictures and start passing <laughs> them off. <laughs> Imagine sister, I pulled however. random babies' photos. Like, <laughs> Your sister is looking like a supermodel at the age of like, what, seven? But you think that, that poofiness is cool? I love her hair. Really? Yes. I judge her for that. Your hair? I didn't have a choice. Well, it wasn't working for your face I know. shape. I've always had this like weird in between thing where mm. if it got like moisture in the air, I turned into like a sheep. Yeah. They I, called me sheep boy actually sometimes. You look very frightened also. I was always frightened. I had a fear of public everything. You can tell here. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> look at that frown. First day of school, I'm in America, first grade. Mm. I'm gonna rock out like a Boy Scout. What do you think oh, about that? My <laughs> God, this is the <laughs> cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. I had a comb over at age it's five. so charming though. Okay, listen, it was parted too far to the side. <laughs> This, though. Look, that keychain? The key. Where does that go to? That's in case. Actually, why do I have a key when <laughs> I, I couldn't walk home from school when I was in first grade. No, that yeah. was straight for sure. That was straight vibing right there with that keychain. Like I, you were. I was telling all the babes. It was in swagger. first grade, I was like, you want to come to my spot? <laughs> I know your instinct is going to go to 12 on the judgment meter. Mm. If you can keep it at nine, my soul will appreciate it. Yeah. Enjoy that one. Holy sh! I have a lot of questions right after that. What the? Happened. I wonder if you'll pick up on one I very wasn't specific. I was expecting thing. you to have like fun like this for some reason. <laughs> this is fun. Yeah, like I mean, no, it's absolutely outrageous, but it's like wild. What did you use to do this look? Cement. Okay. It was a very specific one that was kind of moist, but if you did your hair down and use gravity and you mm. like kept doing it for like an hour, it would ultimately freeze in that position. Ah. Uh, did you did it every morning? Every morning, one hour. And I would just sit there like this. There's and in class, I would sit there like this. There's something. Just there. sculpting it. That's wild. My hand actually got good at this after a while. Wow. Was this like multiple years of your life? Yeah. It was a phase. I'm really shaken by this. Like shooken and shaken <laughs> and rattled. The Armani Exchange <laughs> shirt. But I also did this before did you it was cool. And I, the one part, I don't know if you see here, I shaved my widow's forehead. I was just gonna ask you. I was just look gonna at that. go You could see that. it, it's growing. I was in. like, why does it look like you shaved your forehead? And then I was like, he didn't do that. I shaved There's no my way he forehead. did that. I always thought that I had wild hair growing up, but this tops anything I've ever. If this person came across your path today, would you look at them and say, that's gonna be a person who is gonna bring reliable medical information to this world? No. Okay, the next one, if you make fun of, you're gonna feel bad. Mm. So, Why? I warn you ahead of time. What the? <laughs> you look like a thumb. Like, <laughs> did you say it's it? It's a little thummy. Like one of those like ones from, the, from that movie. <laughs> Spy Kids. I didn't watch that movie. <laughs> oh, that's a thumb. <laughs> Dude, no, that's not what you're talking about, right? Okay. <laughs> I try to do something good They're for humanity. That's what I posted that on Instagram <laughs> thinking like, oh, I can pull off like the America's Next Top Model thing and here you're telling me I look like a thumb. No, I'm actually just picking on you. You look kind of good, I'm not gonna lie. The reason I was like this was because uh, I participated in St. Baldrick's where a child with cancer who lost their hair naturally because of the cancer shaves your head so you stand in solidarity with him. I said if I raise X number of dollars, I'd shave my head and people raise money. So you set me up. I'm so sorry, everybody. Don't come for me. <laughs> That's not bad. Who is that? It's a vibe. Who is that? It's like a young Mike. Circa 2013, pre-med school. Oh my god. Look good in this. It's not bad, oh right? Oh my god. Like I kind of want that jawline back, that oh, hairstyle wow. back. You're very large too. You're very like- I, I was 220 pounds. I was 20 pounds heavier with less body fat. So I, I would like that back. This is the most important question I'm going to ask you what? in this video. What? Do you think I have a little head? No, 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 this is a very important that, I mean, never The audience needs to know this question. People say that you have a little head? Yes. Like in comments? 
in more places than that. If you in this picture had the same head as you do now, but I I, I, I photoshops. Uh, yeah, I would think that you would have a. Your head would look small. Yeah. See? So maybe you do have a small head. I knew it. I would rather have a small head. No, you don't. I like would love to see you try this. But what you have now does add width to your head, and I think it does look good because of your small head. By the way, all the comments, people are like, Mike, you don't have a small head. Yeah, professional. Little head. Call him Little Head from now on. Oh no, Dr. Little Head? That's not appealing. The reason I put this next picture in is because I have very uh, wavy hair mm -hmm. and it's frizzy. And then I was dating someone and she took me to her hairstylist and they were like, oh, we can process it with this. The one that strains and relaxes it. Like almost a like relaxer. a perm. A relaxer, yeah. yeah. So they were like, you need a relaxer. And I was like, I'm kind of stressed. They Maybe a relaxer work. would work. And I didn't realize what it meant, but it made my hair very long. Oh my God. It was very relaxed. First of all, <laughs> don't get a relaxer. It's so strong. It breaks the bonds in your hair and reforms them and it's straight. You also have like great like texture and they just like screwed you over so bad. Mm. Probably the finest my hair's ever been, but will never be again because now I'm getting older. And... Ooh, your I, hair does look really good there. Right? I like this one and I wish I can go back to this, but like I just, I've lost the fullness. I have grays now. Like, Did you do this hair? Yeah your little hairstylist, okay? You think so? I love like the little bit of body you gave it. The that's top. the body, that's what I was trying to get. The little bit of texture yeah. and like the pieciness going on. You know what's funny? In one of my videos, I said if you get it to 200, I'm not gonna say the video because savages are gonna go to it and click it. But in one of my videos, I said if you get it to 200,000 likes, I'll dye my hair blonde. Good luck going through 300 videos and finding that one. What are you gonna do if it hits it? I don't know, hit you up. You're gonna go blonde? Blonde reflects light better, so it might bring more attention to your head, which might make it look bigger. You're convincing me. 300,000 likes and I will dye my hair a color of Brad's choosing. Oh my God, it's so frizzy and weird. I just like change a lot, so maybe that's why I like the hair. Do I have to dye my facial hair? No, it's like cool, it's like dark and light. Can I see other colors? We can go pink. Pink looks good. Pink matches my fleshy tone. I don't mind, it's weird, I don't mind the purple. The purple looks The blonde good. so far has been my least. Oh, I like blue. The blue looks really cool. Can you make the shirt normal? I feel like that's confusing <laughs> for me. The blue looks really good. The blue's not bad. Yeah, and the thing with blue, you could not bleach your hair and do it. Ooh. The semi-permanent one that washes out? <gasps> Imagine I keep it for life. That's the impact just, Brad had on my life. You end up not being known as like the blue haired dog. Yeah. Tell me first that you approve of this setup here. You need the like professional nozzle on this. Thing. Oh, is this not the professional? No, this one's way too wide for you. What it's does a, that mean? It, it's just more concentrated when it's skinny. Okay. Is this the right size brush? This looks perfect for you. Do you know how these work? No. Ceramic. So, so it does, does heat up. So it kind of works as a curling iron. Oh, because it does get really hot, it'll actually curl your hair and hold that curl in place. Oh. That's why you get that nice body. Oh, so know? I should aim this at this. So you can actually heat this up before you use it. Oh, that's what I'm gonna do. What's your technique, like this? Yeah. What do you think? And then, to set it, I press the cool button. Not bad, right? I'm really impressed. That's not bad, right? Moving further after the shower, so you're bougie, bougie. I go either the thickening spray or the super shine moisturizing cream. That's I used to work with Orbe and I okay. love the thickening spray. I love super shine is okay. one of the best. Okay. You ever tried the light one? Do you like mm -mm. what the is super shine light? Oh no, is it better? It'll, I don't know if you ever feel like your hair is way down. down? It. Oh, it does. Yeah, you use the light one. Have you ever had bangs? No. Like that fringe kind of thing? No, should I do that? Like, imagine your curly pieces going down. What? Well, that looks so good. I feel like I look five years old. Like, I like when I'm messy, but then- like, I like it too. I'll start filming and then Dan comes in. He's like, Mike, like your hair's really messy. You wanna go shower? And I'm like, I did shower. <laughs> so it's you. That's the I know. Do you ever go like this? Do you ever pull the brush down? No, I don't know how to do that. See how that just created like a twist? Because that's my natural hair. That's what it looks I like. I love your natural hair though. It's very, um, is it Spider-Man? Who is the guy with the little, like, I'm not Superman, no? Oh, Clark Kent? Yes, it's very Clark Kent vibes. I don't know why, is that not true? I really do like it. I want the audience to tell me. Do you prefer this? Honestly, 
or what I had before. All right, well thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I appreciate you validating my hair experience. Yes. Uh, we hope you enjoyed coming with us. I highly, highly recommend that you go to Brad's channel to see the amazing work we did there, talking everything you need to know about scalp health. Yes, it was okay. very interesting. I found it very interesting and I learned a lot. Please, he has his own already treatment plan that he got. <laughs> he validated my hair experience here. I validated his medical treatment experience. He's about to be Dr. Brad. New channel? <laughs> <laughs> All right, as always, stay happy and healthy, guys.